So I am in a Google Doc. I'm planning on doing a presentation on DOK depth of knowledge. It's a lot faster and easier for me to put in what do I want to talk about in my presentation into a Google Doc because I simply have to press enter and I can type out, okay, this is the next thing I want to talk about. This is the next thing I want to talk about. And then I'm going to come up to the add-ons menu and I'm going to find Doc to Slides by Schoolitics. If you don't have Doc to Slides by Schoolitics, just come on down to where it says Get Add-ons. And you can type Schoolitics up in the search and it's going to come right up for you to be able to install it. So once you've already installed it, go to the Add-ons menu, go to Doc to Slides by Schoolitics and choose Show Sidebar. Show Sidebar. And what you're going to be able to see is it says right here, Doc to Slides, create Google Slides. So I'm going to click on this to create Google Slides. Now it might not open in a new tab. If you have pop-ups blocked, which is what happened to me the first time, you'll notice up here in the Omnibox address bar, it'll say that your pop-up is blocked. It did create it in Google Slides. I would recommend that you unblock the pop-ups. So it'll come in here. So now you'll notice it took everything from my Google Doc and each paragraph becomes its own slide. So it was a lot faster and easier for me to create Google Slides right from the Google Doc. Now if I go to theme, I can choose from the themes in this Google Doc and make it look a little nicer right away. But if I want to get it really fancy, what I'm going to do is go to a new tab. I'm going to go to slidesmania.com. Paula provides these templates for Google Slides for free, so just a little note, notice that you can give her a coffee if you want to give her a little bit of a tip. And I'm going to choose any one of these. There's a whole bunch of fun designs that she has. But what you're looking to do is to scroll down and find the button that says open in Google Slides. I'm going to open in Google Slides and I'm going to choose to use template. All right, so I've made a copy. I'm the owner of these Google Slides. I got a lot of fun design layouts that I'm You will notice that it shows a bunch of great design layouts that I would like to use. And so I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to copy the link up here at the top, Control C, copy, and back in my Google Doc, you'll notice it says link to Google Slides. So I'm gonna paste to this Google Slides from Slides Mania that I created because I don't want a blank Google Slides, I want to use this theme that I got from Slides Mania. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cl just click on Create Google Slides and if there is a link to a Google Slides up here, for example, from Slides Mania, it's gonna add into the same slides. So I'm gonna click Create Google Slides and it's gonna ask me what layout would you like to use? So let's go back and see what it's talking about. I'm going to use this tiny drop down arrow. I can see that I have different layout options and I want to pick one of the numbers, right? And so I'm going to choose three. Okay, now notice that nothing happens because there is an error that the text box on layout three is not there. It's not able to do it. So I'm going to click Create Google Slides, and I'm going to instead do Layout 5 because 3 didn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and do 5. Now what it's going to do is going to add these slides to the bottom. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where I can see that these are the notes that I had in my Google Doc. So you see it took the text from my Google Doc and added it to a Slides Mania template here in Google Slides. Now if this wasn't the layout that I wanted, so I'm going to click here on slide 27, I'm like, eh, it's not really the one that I wanted. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and click on the last slide so that over here in the sidebar you can see that I've selected all of the Doc to Slides by Schoolitics slides and I come over. I'm going to come here to Layout and I want to change the layout. What happens when I try this one? 
and you'll see that all of these slides over here on the left side now have the layout that I wanted. So even though I had chosen layout five and I'm like, oh, that's not the one that I wanted because she's got a lot of great layouts up here, I was able to easily just change it by using the layout option up in the toolbar.